What's up guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a couple of styles that you can do with your My First Wig hair. I did a video review on My First Wig and I asked you guys if you want to see any hairstyles. So I'm doing a couple for you guys today. So first I want to show you guys, this is what my hair looks like, like my natural leave out I guess. I'm doing a side part today and the back I just braided. If you know any other braid pattern, do that. Sometimes I'll just do a little bun, but today I braided it. So here's the hair. I don't have the clip-ins in it. You get a separate bun bundle of clip-ins in your package. The wig has three combs in it and an adjustable strap. It's about 20, 22, 20 something inches. Um, and yeah, it's a really nice wig. So this is how I put it on. I just throw it on there <laughs> like that, flip it up. And as you can see, the part for the wig does not match where my part is um, in my hair. So I just move the wig over like that. And then there are the three combs, like I said, so I'm just setting that in my hair. If you use a wig cap, it makes it a lot easier because it just pushes in there, but I don't really like the wig cap. So, you know, we're just doing it with that. So that's what the hair looks like just on the head with the matching part. So first we're gonna do the side fishtail braid. It's actually pretty simple once you get the hang of it. So I'm just using my Hannah Montana brush. You guys know I love it. And brushing all of my hair onto one side. Now the side that the braid's not gonna be on, I like to use a little bobby pin and pin that back just so that it doesn't um, like fall out when I do the braid. So for fishtail braid, all you have to do is take your hair in two sections and take one smaller section and cross it over to the other side. Now the thicker you make these pieces that you cross over, the thicker your fishtail will be. Fishtail braids actually look really gorgeous when you use smaller pieces, but that just takes a longer time. I mean, it looks gorgeous, it just takes a longer time. So I'm using a little bit bigger pieces and just braiding that all the way down and taking a little uh, scrunchy uh, rubber band <laughs> and I'm tying the end of that. Now, if you have flyaways, this actually looks better like when you pull it apart like this um, because you have the little pieces sticking out the side. I think it looks really cute. Um, but yeah, so if you have bangs like me that still haven't grown out for several years, you can clip it back, pin it back like so, or you can just curl it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm using my straightener that I'm actually going to be doing a review on soon. It vibrates. It's pretty legit. Um, so yeah, I'm just curling those front pieces with my straightener. And then you will see shortly, perhaps, maybe, let's go girl, there we go. Um, I had some more hair that fell out, so I just twisted it a little bit and pinned it back on the back side of my hair. So that is what the first style looks like. Super cute casual look. You could also dress it up if you want to. It works for everything. So the next style we're going to do is loose curls. Now they're long loose curls. So first we're taking out that braid that we did and brushing through my hair. And we're going to take the clips that come in the package that you get for my first wig and we're going to clip the top sections up. Um, if you haven't seen the review, you get a lot of extra little goodies in your package when you order the wig. So two clips came in there as well. So I'm just clipping up the top part, hoping it doesn't fall down. And then I'm curling again with that same straightener. You can search on YouTube how to curl your hair with a straightener. I sped this part up because I didn't like how those curls turned out. Um, but basically you just clamp your straightener and keep rotating it until you have a piece sticking out from the middle, if that makes sense. It's harder to explain than to just do it and practice and you'll get the hang of it. Um, so yeah, I'm just doing that all over my hair and the longer you hold the straightener, the more defined your curl is going to be. And the trick for having loose curls, I think I'll curl all of my hair first and just leave the curl how it is and then at the end you'll see that's when I loosen it up with my fingers or with a brush, with a comb, whatever. to slow it back down it was very repetitive but I wanted to slow it back down for the front so you guys see how I curl like my bangs into the hair um, I don't know I just thought maybe you guys would <laughs> want to see that uh, but yeah so it does a nice little 
pushed back look. So here you can see I'm just using my fingers to go through the hair, loosen all of that up. I'm also taking a brush to make it a little bit fluffier, but don't worry, the curls are not gonna drop that much. It'll all go back together as you see right here. Look, see, it all goes back together. But it has a little bit, a little bit more fluff and body, which I love. So that is that hairstyle. On to the third hairstyle, which is just the half up, half down. You're basically just doing, like keeping the hair that you have and then putting half of it up <laughs> and half of it is staying down. You can straighten your hair um, if you want a straight style, it still looks cute, but I like it with the curls, so we're leaving the curls. And I'm just using my fingers to kind of flatten out the pieces that I'm using. It's not gonna look super, super straight. Um, I kind of like it messy, casual looking, so it all worked out, you know? And then I'm just taking a little rubber band and tying that back in the back. Tying it back in the bag. Yes, girl. Tie it, girl. Yes. And then again, there's my little bang. You can leave it out if you want. If you think that's cute, you can. I don't really like hair in my face, eye, cheek area. I don't really like my hair touching my face. You know, it just kind of, you know when you feel like something's on you, you're just like, no, thank you. So <laughs> I'm just taking a bobby pin and pinning that back. Also, bobby pins come in the package for my first wig. Check out that video if you haven't already. And yeah, so that's what that hairstyle looks like. Super, super easy. On to the last hairstyle. This is the casual ponytail. A lot of you guys wanted like a sleek, slicked back, high fashion ponytail, which I don't really recommend doing when you're wearing a wig. When you do clip it extensions, it's totally easy to do. I'll show you guys how to do that in a future video. Um, but when it comes to a wig, when you pull back the hair super tight, you're gonna be able to see that wig cap, which you'll see here in a second, which is kind of ratchet you don't really want to do that so um, I'm just making the ponytail like a medium low length uh, height I mean and as you can see right here like you can see the wig cap so I'm taking bobby pins and I'm pinning that down it took a handful of bobby pins and I just I didn't really like that but I mean you still I wanted to show you guys that you can still achieve a ponytail look just not a high fashion sleek one with the wig um, but I still like it I think it's cute casual fun bouncy look at it look at it bounce yes girl so those are just a few styles I wanted to show you with my first wig thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye y'all